This is Spring Theory, the mousetrap car on what is a mousetrap car and how do you operate a mousetrap car. Why? Because mousetrap cars don't grow on trees. Or do they? Hi, I'm Dawn DeWitt. Charles Tharp and I have many years experience with mousetrap cars and will be providing you with detailed information about every aspect of mousetrap cars to help you design the best mousetrap car for your needs. Stick with us to the end of this video. I think you'll find it a good investment of your time. Be sure to watch this video to the end, save it, and share this video with your friends. Be sure to like our video and subscribe to our channel if you find it useful. This Spring Theory lesson will focus on what exactly a mousetrap car is, how it works, and how to properly operate it. Other lessons will include how to design a mousetrap car, how to construct a mousetrap car, and incorporate gears into a car, and how to use math to make predictions about the performance of your car. A mousetrap car can be constructed using a few basic tools, some craft and hobby supplies that are easily located, and some readily found materials around the house. According to Wikipedia, a mousetrap car is a small vehicle whose only source of power is a mousetrap. It's often used in physical science classes to help students build problem-solving skills and as part of STEM-based programs to help students develop their engineering skills and practices. The mousetrap car uses the stored potential energy in the compressed spring to turn the axle or wheels of the car, transforming the potential energy into kinetic energy, the energy of motion. This description for operation is pretty generic, but does contain specifics for the mousetrap car that I will teach you to build in another lesson. Now let's get to how to properly operate a mousetrap car. First, notice the string that is used to transfer the energy from the compressed spring into rotation of the wheels. The string has a loop that is approximately one centimeter long tied in the free end. The other end is tied to the resting bale. Look at the string length. It reaches from the resting bale around the back end of the mousetrap, passing through the handles of a small binder clip, which keeps the string from grabbing onto the rough wood of the mousetrap. The string passes under the wheel axle to go directly to the axle with the big gear. The loop drops onto the string catch, which is a small zip tie. A longer string will not produce more forward motion. The string can only pull across the length of the mousetrap, so if the string is made longer, it can interfere with the performance by making the car stop its forward motion and even making it go backwards, which would decrease the distance of travel. While watching the wheels and gears, turn the large wheel in the direction it will be turning as the car moves forward with the small wheels leading. In our view of the car, the wheels turn clockwise. Notice that the large gear turns in the opposite direction of the wheels, counterclockwise. When winding the string, the axle must be turned in the opposite direction from which it will turn when the car is operating. An arrow has been drawn on the gearbox underneath as a reminder for the direction to wind the string around the drive gear axle. Prepare to wind the car by holding the rear end of the mousetrap car with your thumb on top of the mousetrap and your first and second fingers on the bottom of the mousetrap. Cock the bale with your other hand, being careful not to put pressure on any other part of the car other than the mousetrap. Hold the bale down tightly. 
Try not to accidentally let go of the bale as the rapid release of energy can break the mousetrap car or even hurt you. Rotate your hand towards you and drop the string loop onto the side of the tie wrap closest to your hand or the rear of the mousetrap car. Gently turn the large gear in the direction of the arrow and keep the string taut so that it will wrap neatly and completely around the axle. The position of the bale can be manipulated to help you handle the string while it is being wrapped around the axle, especially if you are doing this by yourself. Once the string is completely and neatly wrapped around the axle, shift your ring finger over to lightly touch the small gear on the drive wheel axle to prevent any energy from being released before you're ready. Check the washers and keepers, they shift during winding. This is a good time to count the string wraps too. Looks like I've got about eight here. Set the mousetrap car on the floor with all four wheels touching the floor. Place your free hand an inch or two in front of the car to act as a bumper. Place the car on the floor with all four wheels touching and gently release the car allowing it to roll up to your hand. This allows you to know two things. The car is ready to roll and the car is ready to roll in the right direction. When you are ready, lift your hand up and away from the mousetrap car. I recommend that you time each run and measure the distance of each run for purposes of analysis. You can calculate the speed of the mousetrap car by dividing the distance by the time. It's useful information since this variable is often a component of mousetrap car competition. Repeat, repeat, repeat. This is where the work of an engineer comes in. If the mousetrap car is not doing what you need it to do, you will know it this time. This is when you need to start redesigning your mousetrap car to meet your needs. That will be a subject of another lesson. There are many variables that affect the performance of the mousetrap car, and there are trade-offs that you make with each option you choose. Deliberately selecting the gear ratio to match your wheels and the number of string wraps can improve the results. More than one pair of gears can be used as well, but those are topics for another lesson. This Spring Theory lesson has described what a mousetrap car is like, how it works, and how to properly operate a mousetrap car. Be sure to like our video and subscribe to our channel so you'll be connected to additional content about mousetrap cars. Until next time, because mousetrap cars don't grow on trees.